is coming to an end. This is me as a recruit division commander training my last division. I decided to re-enlist in front of my last division as a symbol to them that there's more to the Navy than just boot camp and to show them one of the time honored traditions of re-enlisting in, in the Navy. Being RDC is the greatest job in the world. I know, you know, during this time, it's been rough for a lot of RDCs. And some people have had to come back here to do the job again, even though they didn't want, they may not have wanted to do the job. They've done it, they've moved on. But being a recruit division commander is one of the most challenging, one of the most rewarding jobs I have ever had in my life. I've trained 18 divisions, 18 personnel. I came here originally as a second class with six years in the Navy. I left the first time as a first class petty officer. I came back again as a first class petty officer and able to lead my own division. I've done a lot here. I made chief a year ago here. I've watched recruits become chiefs. I've watched recruits become officers. RTC has done a lot for me. And even though I am glad to be finally leaving, glad to be finally leaving, I will never forget this job. This job is hard, but it's rewarding. It's long hours, long hours, especially in the drill hall, or war marching around base, getting the recruits in step, but seeing them go from a civilian to a sailor, something that you developed, and then boom, you see them in the future like this young lady right here as an officer that was one of my former recruits. It's amazing. You can say, I was part of that. I was part of that. It's long nights, but it's so rewarding. I hope that I change somebody's life here, whether it be in my division or even on my whole jobs in step are in special programs or are at battle stations. I would truly miss this job, but now that I'm done, I've watched recruits become citizens here. I've watched recruits tackle some of the hardest issues of passing a swim test, passing a run test, passing a physical test. Done a lot here. I've seen them go from uniforms, from the NW type twos is type threes from the utilities. This has been a great job. It's time to move on. I loved most of it. I've had some great partners. I've had some great experiences. Being a recruit division commander is a honor a privilege and very few people really understand the job. The love for this job, the love to train the future of the Navy. There is no other, there is no greater gift. So to RTC, I say I do, and I'll catch you in the next one. Why I became an RDC? It was literally a bet or more of a, a challenge. As a second class, I was just um, highly introverted. And they said, you need to, you know, get out of your comfort zone, uh, get in some leadership uh, roles and things like that. So they said, why don't you try and be an RDC? And I was like, all right, okay, cool. I'll go be an RDC. Um, so there's a screening process, 
where you got to sit down with the CMC, uh, the CEO, um, and you got to get medically cleared. Um, also, you got you to take a photo uh, in your uniform to make sure you're, you're somewhat physically fit um, to, you know, come here to the RDC. You don't want some out of, you know, out of shape person, you know, trying to train recruits to get in shape and be in the Navy. So I go CO briefs good, CMC's briefs good. And it's mid second class. I go to the doctor and um, I've had some previous issues with my knee um, um, because uh, when I was in high school, I had a track incident and it dislocated uh, and I popped it back in. Um, then I went to air crew school um, and it re-injured it and I had to get, I got kicked out of that school um, for that, for these, for these issues. And um, so I had, knew I had this knee issue. Um, and the doctor told me, he's like, you're never gonna you're never gonna get past C school, RDC C school with that bad knee. You need knee surgery. And literally I looked at him and said, Sir, I just I just I wanna do this job. I need you to sign that paperwork so I can go do this. I know I can do this. And I don't know why, but he signed it. And I go here and yeah, it was rough. Um as a second class. Being in second class at RTC is um your uh, you're a workhorse, you're a workhorse, um, and there's long hours and long days, um, and, but the only way for you to advance is to pass the test to make first. So you have to squeeze some of those times in, and hopefully your partners understand that. Um, I've had good and bad partners that understood, had understood that. I remember I revved a tap one day, um, the day before the test, because I guess my partner had forgot that I needed to take the test the next day. I revved the tap. I got to the test, and literally the first hour, I took a nap. Um, and then two hours, the last two hours, I uh, I took the test and I, only, I missed it by 10 points. I was so mad because I knew if I probably had arrested, I probably wouldn't have missed those questions. I probably would have made it. Um, and then the next time I took the test, I missed it by three. And then finally I made it. Um, I made it, made it um, off of studying um, toward my tail end of me leaving here the first time. Um, so a second class is really hard here. Um, so, you know, be ready for that. The first class is, um, you being here is really a shark tank. You have you know, different types of first classes that come here. Some that come here because they want to make chief. Some that come here because, you know, they want a challenging, challenging career. And then you got some that come here um, because they're forced here or they're retiring and they want to, you know, give back um, before they retire um, out of the Navy. Um, it's, that that's a difficult you know situation um because you have to be in the right mindset to come here as a first class um to push recruits you have to come here period is to be already seen the right mindset to push recruits otherwise you get angry you get burned out you do something wrong and a job that's meant to enhance your career will end up hurting your career so you know um come with the right mindset um don't look at RTC as shore duty. Um, no matter who you are coming here, look at it as more of a, almost like a type three C duty billet. Um, yes, you're gonna be able to go home every night, but you're gonna be so tired. All you wanna do is sleep, um, get up, come back to work. So one, you have to learn the job, learn your partners, and then be able to squeeze out those times and those schedules so that if you do have a family, you're able to go home early, come in a little later so you can spend time with your family. 
but that's later on down the line. As a new RDC, that your time is pretty much all consumed here, trying to learn the job. Um, as a chief being here, uh, it, it was an eye opener. I kind of understood, you know, why you are a chief or even as a lead RDC, you understand the admin portion of it, um, the, you know, the bureaucracy of RTC. And that's, I think that's the most part I hate about being RDC is the paperwork and the bureaucracy of being RDC. But the genuine, the, the, the meat and potatoes of watching a recruit go from civilian to sailor is amazing. These person that you thought was just a soup sandwich is nothing. And they, you know, at the end of the day, um, they graduate, um, go through battle stations and become a big sea trained sailor. It's, it's truly remarkable. And then you see them, um, like, I, you know, the privilege of me leaving here the first time and then going out to sea. I've seen my recruits, you know, in the fleet, in action, um, doing their job. You know, like, man, wow, uh, the second class or the third class. Um, you see them out in town or somewhere else as a first class. Um, and very few of them I've seen. One as a chief and, and one as an officer. It's amazing, truly amazing to see their growth. Um, because you had something to do with that that formation of that of that individual I think that's the greatest gift you can ever have um, and I, I tell this to recruits like gee, gee, why did you become an RDC um, because the greatest gift you can you know do for somebody is to change their life and that's literally what an RDC is you're literally changing someone's life in a span of eight to ten weeks now um, to become something bigger than themselves. And everybody doesn't remember a lot about boot camp, but one thing they do remember is their RDCs. Um, they may not remember them by name, like I can't remember my name, my name, some of the names of my RDCs, but I do remember their, their, their rates and their personalities. Um, and you know, I can pair them to how I was an RDC um, it's, it's, uh, it's like the self-reflecting, um, so, but 18 divisions, some of them integrated, some, most of them all male, um, funny stories. I've had tons of stories of recruits doing, you know, insanely stupid stuff, insanely crazy stuff, creative stuff, um, partners, um, that you know you didn't agree with. Um, I've had some bad partners. I've had some great partners pushing the division, um, and you know it comes with this this band. But to be a good RDC, you can't be too hot headed and you can't be too calm. You got to be. Um, you have to be the even an even kill, all right? The even kill person. Um, when it comes to being an RDC, um, because you know, long hours, eventually somebody's gonna make you mad, and you gotta be able to know to, when to walk away from the situation. Um, or as a leader, know when to step in and say, "Hey, buddy, hey, uh, petty officer, chief, hey, just you know, uh, you know, what? go home. All right, take the take the rest of the day off. I got the division." Um, and that's another thing about being an RDC. Is that you? Is you and your partners? You dictate your schedule um, as you push the division. Um, now your your LCPO, uh, the senior chief in charge of the ship, um, will have some some play in that. It'll be like, all right, I don't, I don't want you know new RDCs by themselves um, during these times and things like that. But for the most part, it's you and your 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 partner. So. If one person's a good, you know, rever, um, that person revs. If another person's a good tapper, that person taps. So you just kind of got to work these things out. You kind of really dictate your own schedule as an RDC. And that's one of the benefits of being an, R an RDC once you learn your job. Um, the other thing about being an RDC, um, 
that those are the things I love about being an artist. Uh, obviously, the thing I hate is just um, the, the politics. Um, know who to talk to, how to get stuff from, uh, who you can rely on, um, because you know this job is hard, and you just you know you got to know the right people to talk to and how to get things done. Um, ask the right questions. Um, they are working at battle stations was an amazing job. Um, I'm a night person anyway, so it wasn't hard to do that. But that um, that's a pretty cool job. Um, working special programs was, um, it was okay. Um, I was one of the few that actually um, helped set up the, you know, the, uh, the, uh, the new program for, you know, baseline failures. So I was in that beginning process of, you know, you fail your baseline, you go home. Um, so that was a little rough because you see, you know, good people that are trying, they're just not physically fit. So obviously they can't be in the Navy. So you have to send them home. Um, and in the beginning, we were sending, sending home a lot um, over time. But as a process and processes got better, very few, fewer people um, were getting sent home um, and we were able to keep a lot more recruits. Um, this job has been great. Um, if anybody, whoever's watching this, if you're watching this and you're thinking about becoming an RDC, come here to change a life. Come here to make a difference. Don't come here to put on rank. Don't come here to, um, because you're from Chicago, because um, you'll probably barely see it. Um, come here to make a difference. Um, and you'll understand it if you truly come here for that. What you're you're doing here as an RDC. Um, this is a great job. Um, just there's certain things and people in places that kind of make the job harder on you know the people that are actually pushing the visions. But I'm trying to keep this positive. But if you just gently just stick to just, you know, literally cut the fat and just push, you'll like it. Um, that's why people come back. That's why I came back. Um, otherwise, no one would come back. Uh, I think after this, you know, year 2020, um, it's gonna be harder to get RDCs here. Um, to push the divisions, so there's going to be have to uh, there's going to have to be some serious incentives um, for people to come here to be an RDC. Um, but just come here with a pure intention to change the world. I can't think of anything else right now. If you have any questions, comments, concerns questions about being an RDC, um, uniforms, oh, the last thing, uniforms, come here prepared to spend some money on uniforms because you wear it every day, every day. So if you've only got three uniforms, three NSUs, you're going to need like six to 10. NWs, same thing, because you wear the uniforms every day. Um, you're going to go through core frames or leathers like crazy. Um, so for petty officers, fortunately, there's the uh, there's like a discount sale every month called the Uniform Reclaim Sale where you can get the uniforms for like a fraction of the price um, here. This is the only place in the world you can do that because it's boot camp and we process recruits out so they sell the uniforms back to the Navy for a very discount price and so that people in the Navy can utilize the uniforms. But that's that. If you're a chief, unfortunately, they don't sell khakis um, at the reclaim sale, so you're gonna spend some money. 
Um, but once again, I, di I digress. Um, if you have any questions about being an RDC, a recruit division commander, you thinking about doing it, you want to do it, you have questions, uh, family concerns, things like that, hit me up. Um, put it in the comment section. You like to talk to me. I'll uh, figure out who you are. Or D I'll DM you. You DM me, whatever. On my Instagram. My Instagram is the same as my same as my uh, YouTube channel. Same as this YouTube channel. Just fit underscore Fletch. I will answer your questions truthfully and honestly. Um, trying to leave out the, my bias um, about it. But, yes, that's all I have. Um, I'm going to be moving on uh, to another job that will put me well beyond 20 years. But I will never remember, I never forget RTC. Um, never forget what it taught me, gave me some great leadership skills. Um, you never really be afraid. After being an RC, you never be afraid of talking in front of crowds. It's a little bit nervousness, but once you start rolling, you just start talking. Um, so that's one positive thing about it. But once again, like, comment, subscribe. This is your boy Just Fit Fledge. I know this is not a like fitness um, video, but. Being the Navy is a part of me, um, like fitness is a part of me. Um, and being an RDC, I've been an RDC combined from the first time to this time is almost seven years, 18 divisions, seven years. And they say that one tour here, you affect one third of the Navy. So, you know, do the math. Um, it's your boy, Justin Fletch. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Love you guys.